I'm not a straight chemist. I didn't know which I wanted to do. I did a combined biology and chemistry degree. Came out with a 2-2 honours. But that doesn't really prepare you for anything. Gives you the way to organise how you go about what you do. I started in a small company when I started work all those years ago. <laughs> when I think back, I think I've made an FR acrylic sealant. And they looked at me and said, I don't know if we want to be getting into that sort of market. Have you seen they go for about 20 pounds a cartridge? Your product is gonna to have to be less than that. It's gonna be like about 18 pounds. So thinking more like about a pound. We came up to Warrington, we did a fire test. We thought we were going to be there for two hours. Four hours we were there. And my technical director, he was an engineer. He was looking at his watch all the time saying, I've got, I've got to pick up the kids. I've got to pick up the kids. <laughs> The work I did in the late 80s on my thesis was immunology and to do with ELISA tests. And the ELISA was the test that they used for COVID. I've always been involved in things, never at the time understood the importance or where it would go. It's not what's in my head. And when you hear of sort of like great scientists and they do something and then the world gets turned upside down because of what they've found out, it was never their intention. Most of the time when you're a scientist, what you're doing is trying to do the right thing. That's all you're trying to do. You don't care what it costs. You have very little sense of time. You can be sat there and everybody's gone home, but because you're working on this problem and you don't want to lose the thread, you carry on doing it. It's less of a job, more of a hobby. It's like what you wanted to do.